And in today's Sunday Spotlight, what may be the toughest speaking gig of all, what to tell graduates as they squirm in their seats, itching for those diplomas. We're right in the thick of commencement season now. Watch how a few speakers handle the assignment. Oprah was demoted from her first job as a news anchor. Now she doesn't even need a last name. And then there's this guy, Barack Obama. He lost his first race for Congress, and now he gets to call himself my husband. <laughs> it may seem that all that's left for you is unpaid internships, Monday to Tuesday mail delivery, and thanks to global warming, soon semester at sea will mean sailing the coast of Ohio. In a line of work like mine, for example, I've learned that if you're trying to please everybody by playing it safe, you're not playing up to your full potential. This whole thing comes down in the end to whether we think the future will be better if we face it with open hands or closed fists. As I was driving in from the airport, I was just looking at the lovely hills and honestly, I wanted to step out of the car and walk over to a grassy knoll and uh, you know what, make my signature turn from the sound of music. Ooh, I bet you wonder how I do about your plans to make me blue. You only live one life. Don't spend it in safe, shallow water. Launch out into the deep. But many of you might be thinking right now about which leadership position you plan to attain when you leave here. Hopefully not mine, <laughs> at least not for a while, okay? Okay? As you go forward, please consider the special place of public service in the history of this nation and make some history yourselves. Congratulations. And our congrats, congratulations to everyone in the class of 2013. And now we honor our fellow Americans who serve in sacrifice. This week, the Pentagon released the names of four soldiers killed in Afghanistan. And that is all for us today. Thanks for sharing part of your Sunday with us. Check out World News with David Muir tonight, and I'll see you tomorrow on GMA.